Look, if you're sad about being alone on Valentine's Day, just remember, nobody loves you on any other day of the year either, so you don't need to be especially sad. This is my yearly PSA to boyfriends that when you go to the grocery store to buy your girl flowers, don't buy her flowers wrapped in plastic. Every other relationship that I was in, I hated Valentine's Day because I was always dating these guys that were like jerks the whole year round and then they would use the holiday to do something nice and over the top. And whose fault is that for you dating jerks? They would think that just because they got me like a balloon on February 14th that that gave them the right to be a jerk the rest of the year. Girls, with Valentine's Day coming up, it is so important to remember if he wanted to, he absolutely would. Let's talk about Valentine's Day. It is the absolute bare minimum for a man to be nice to you. Now, gifts are not everything, but this could be very eye-opening. If this Speaking about gifts, guys, I got a very special gift today. You want to know what it was? They cut off the water from the building for like eight hours. That was the best gift. <laughs> Does not plan something for you, get you anything and just like, leave him now. They will show you who they are. Don't make them show you twice. I have had the worst Valentine's days ever. The first boyfriend I've ever had broke up with me three days prior and my boyfriend last year, no, was not good on either of our ends. You don't have to go out with someone's shitty kid just because he took the bare minimum to ask you out to dinner. It's 2024, you're done settling, okay? Also, just because someone takes you out does not mean you owe them anything and you know what I mean by that. If you want to, go crazy, go stupid. But seriously, and if you don't have plans, who gives a f Was I asked to be someone's Valentine's Day and it was the sweetest thing in the world? Yes, I was, but I'm going to breakfast tomorrow by myself. I got my hair done, so I feel all pretty. And I'm going to the Bob Marley movie premiere tomorrow night with my dad, okay? I'm not letting a single f with a penis ruin my day. I'm done with that. So if you're feeling alone, like you have no plans tomorrow, take yourself out. Make yourself feel pretty, get a pretty dress on. You don't need anyone to make you feel anything. After being in a long-term relationship, you realize like how much your standards go up after that ends. Like the next girl that I actually put my life into, holy fuck. What did I tell you guys? They go up in age and they meet more men, their standards go up. Just think if the previous guy she dated had a nice car, had lots of money. Now, when she's trying to date, the next guy has to be at least like the other one and have maybe even more, a uh, nicer car, more money. Otherwise, she wouldn't be impressed. If I come on here and I'm like, oh, I'm in a relationship, you better know her is next to perfect. Because I am never going to do that ever again. So my guy friend's been seeing this girl for a while, but he told me he doesn't want anything serious with her. And last night he tells me that he's taking her out to dinner on Valentine's Day. And I was like, what? And he was like, what? And I was like, if a guy I was seeing took me out to dinner on Valentine's Day, I would think he's like asking me to be his girlfriend. And he was like, why would you think that? And I was like, why would you think that Valentine's Day is a casual day? I can't, I can't even think of a less casual... Yeah, that guy is stupid. How can you invite a girl on Valentine's Day out? You don't think that means something to her. Some guys just don't, don't understand how women think. ...little day to a girl. And he was like, no, she doesn't think that. And I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And no, now I need not. to know <laughs> if I'm just crazy for thinking this or if every no, other you're girl... Not. No, you're not. ...think that too. I'm in a situation ship. What do I do for Valentine's Day? Breakdown edition. What phase are you in? Stage one is the early talking stage, which means you just recently. Guys, am I crazy or does she look like a man? I don't know what's happening, but there is something strange. I only started talking and it's super cash. If you're in this stage, I think you just ignore Valentine's Day and pretend it doesn't exist. Don't overthink it with your friends. You only recently started talking. You guys probably have only been on one to three dates. It's super early, super recent. Don't go too much too soon. Because if you overthink it, you put too much pressure on the relationship and ruin it. Instead, stay home on Valentine's Day, get some wine. I have this weird sensation. I don't know why, but she looks like a man. Some chocolate, watch a rom-com, you're all set, girl. And take a bubble bath cures all if you are just strictly sex or intimate with your situation ship then i would say ask him like if you're just strictly intimate it should be an easy no-brainer text i'm sorry 
just text them and be like, want to be my B-Day activity? We're both single, question mark. Or be like, literally the day of a Valentine's Day, be like, since we're both single and doing nothing, Valentine's Day, want to come over, I'll ride. You also might be the type of person that feels like all these other girls are getting chosen. They're getting the gifts and they're getting spoiled. And I'm not, so I must not be worthy of that. Let me correct that one too. You know how many men know that women uh, yearn for that romanticism? So they use that to manipulate women into staying in situations that they know they shouldn't be in. <laughs> With all the laws that are against men, how can you manipulate a woman? just takes one phone call and your life is over one phone call think about that did you think about this man might have been dogging this girl out all year and so it was like all right if i do this for her valentine's day she's gonna say whatever and then it works out that way there's probably plus just think about how many more options women have than men so how can you manipulate a woman when she has all the options in the world and she just needs to make a phone call and it's, it destroys your life. So much around you to be grateful for that even some people in relationships don't have. That you're missing because you're like, but a boyfriend. But I don't have a boyfriend. And when you do that, sometimes the universe... I can see why she doesn't have a boyfriend. God will show you. You need to be more grateful for the things around you. So they will keep you there. Keep you without a... Just look at her fingernails, guys. I don't know how, how can you do anything with those fingernails. Until you learn to be grateful for the things that are not a boyfriend. You need to learn to appreciate those things when you're not in a relationship. So that God forbid things go south or not even God forbid because if that's not the person for you, if thank God things go south, you're good because you know how to appreciate things other than... Nobody gets it. Valentine's Day is such a hard time for single people. You're still complaining that you're single on Valentine's Day? Please. You don't know how blessed you are. I have celebrated February 14th for the last three years in a row alone and had a blast. So this is how you're going to make Valentine's 2020. I'm so happy that I'm alone. Let me go on TikTok and tell everybody how happy I am. People in general that are happy don't need to make videos to show other people how happy they are. Because they're outside living their life, being happy, doing whatever. You don't need a, to make a video to show everybody. Three, the best day ever for yourself. One, you're going to make a booking, make some reservations because these plans are a priority and so are you. After you've made your booking, you're going to start planning your outfit and your makeup and your hair. You're going to get so glam for this solo day. Just as if you had a date for Valentine's Day and you'd wear your best perfume and your best makeup and spend hours getting ready. You're going to do that for yourself because you're the one who deserves it the most. Three, you're going to get flowers and chocolates delivered to your house with a note that says from me to me, because why not? Four, you're going to... From me to me. <laughs> buy that thing you've been wanting for ages and get yourself a Valentine's Day gift. And five, you're going to do some self-care, you're going to do some self-love and inner work, and you are going to journal. I challenge you, today, today, before February comes, you have to journal a list of 10 things you love about yourself. Internally, <laughs> externally, whatever. You are literally going to jot... This is so stupid, guys. Instead of improving yourself, maybe list 10 things that you have to improve. No. <laughs> what are 10 things you like about yourself, you love about yourself? That's how you become a narcissist. Or maybe you already are a narcissist. And how grateful you are to look the way you look, to act the way you act, to have the personality traits that you have. I need you to take this activity seriously and realize how much of a catch you are. And that being single on Valentine's Day isn't a bad thing. You are just so <laughs> worthy and so attractive that you need to be extra fussy with who you're giving your time and energy to. I'm sure videos like this get millions and millions of views. Why? Because they just tell women what they want to hear. If I just wanted to make money, guys, I would make videos like this, just telling women exactly what they want to hear. Do you know how much cash I would make? So it's a great thing that you're single on Valentine's Day because at least you're not selling for less. If you are already dating, do you have to ask your significant other to be their Valentine? No, you're not a kid anymore. That's stupid. People still do that? Yes! If my boyfriend does not ask me to be his Valentine, like I'm is not going to say anything and i'm going to secretly break up with him in my head so what do you want to hear will you be my will you be my valentine if he just doesn't even get me a simple 12 dollar bouquet from from the grocery store and say like i be my valentine and then maybe a little something else on valentine's day like what you're are you doing but if you're already dating yes be my valentine yeah that's, that's like something stupid. you see in rom-coms and then you'd laugh yeah. at them 
I didn't think yeah. anyone does that in real life. Nobody does. It's just a fantasy that women have. Uh, don't give me that look. I'm, I'm being honest. Okay, guys, it's time for me to answer a couple of questions. Could you do a video about how men can be less emotional and why are men so emotional in the first place? How do men not care? I think most guys are too emotional because they come from a place of scarcity, not a place of abundance. What do I mean by that? For most men, it's hard to find a woman. So most guys find one or two or three women in their lifetime. So they have a scarcity mindset. I found a woman and even if he sees all the red flags, he ignores them. That's why I'm telling you guys and I'm showing you these videos. So you do not ignore the red flags. But because he's coming from a mindset of scarcity, He's afraid. Well, if I lose this woman, I may be alone for the rest of my life. Chad doesn't have a problem like that. He has an abundance mindset. If I don't like her, if she doesn't respect my boundaries, if I see red flags, I'm gone. Because I can find another woman fast. You ignore all the red flags because you don't want to be alone and maybe you get married and then you break up and she takes half your stuff and if you have kids you won't see them and you have to pay child support so in the long run it doesn't pay off i'm i'm less emotional in general i was bullied since i was a kid i was a skinny kid with ears like this let me show you so my ears were like this i had plastic surgery then and everybody called me Dumbo. Everybody. And they bullied me. I'm so glad. I'm so grateful for that. Because it made me very tough. That's why I can read all the comments and not care. That's why I don't care when people call me bald, incel, ugly, old, whatever. I've been always less emotional. I got into so many fights when I was younger. I had like operations in my face. I couldn't move my jaws. I had two bones broken here, half an inch higher, and the doctor said I would die. Because I was a crazy kid. And I didn't let anybody disrespect me because I was bullied a lot when I was younger. And let me just say this, I'm grateful, because if not, maybe I would have turned out to be a weak pussy man, a simp. I'm so glad, I'm so glad for everything in my life. Everything that happened in my life led up to this. What do emotions lead to? When you're emotional, you can't think clearly. You're not logical. So how does that help you in your life? I know it's hard, but how does that help you? It doesn't. If you want to be less emotional, I don't know. Go, go do some, some kickboxing. Go do some fighting sports. Then you get a tougher skin. You have to be tough in general, not only in relationships. When you're tough in general, then in relationships, you're less emotional. Okay, the second question. Hey, Manosphere, I have a question. Do you think a man and a woman can be friends? In your opinion, of course. No, I don't think so. No, just think about it. If you're around that woman and you're having fun and, and she knows you and everything is just right, most men would want to be in a relationship with that woman. But most women, when they friend zone you, they actually friend zone you. Now, I know there are people that are friends, men and women. At work, yeah, you can be friends, maybe. But even then, I, I don't think they're actual friends. Or if you're 60, if you're 60 and you have no desire to be with that woman and she has no desire to be with you, but you're just lonely, yeah, sure, you can be friends. But in my opinion, 
in young people at least one of one of them will want more hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you on the next one